you. So every Sunday after the service, we have a prayer partner who is available to anyone here for affirmative prayer. For today, that will be Rick Kitzman, and he will be in Darwin's den. He's waving his hand there. Um, so that will be directly following the service today. We'd also like to let you know about our event um, that's actually happening today at Althea. Um, so Heather, a heartfelt medium, and Rick Finbo, a psychic, um, will leave an afternoon dedicated to helping you understand and support all that surrounds you and providing clarity and purpose. So this is at 1 p.m. today, and the tickets are $33. If you didn't purchase one in advance, you can do that at the door. Um, together, Heather and Rick will bring an afternoon of surprise and delight, utilizing their unique talents to connect with spirit for your highest and best. And then next Sunday, we will do the gong bath, um, and that will be at 1230. It is designed to promote deep relaxation and healing. You can s secure your spot in advance for just $20. So you can purchase that on the website. And if you choose to purchase it at the door next week, it will be $25. Don't miss this unique opportunity to harmonize your mind, body, and spirit. See you there. When you buy a ticket to our events at Althea, you're not just securing a spot for your amazing experience. You're also helping us grow and thrive. A generous portion of every ticket supports Althea Center's missions and programs. You can always check out Althea's website for more ways to engage. As we are working to grow our membership, the process for becoming a member at Althea has been streamlined. If you are not already a member and you would like to show support, which is very important to Althea's sustainability, please speak with Ricky Stanton, Bob Burkhoff, which is our board president, or Reverend Christina. Just a reminder that as the summer sun shines brightly, we've decided to take a summer break from our cherished Sunday lunch program. This is effective immediately. This decision comes from challenges we've faced in finding volunteers to support the kitchen duties and the cleanup. We understand that sometimes summer activities and commitments make it hard to be here on Sundays. Financially, with lower attendance and fewer people paying for lunch, we have not been able to break even. So leading, this has led to a greater financial loss, and this break gives us time to plan for a strong return in September. So if you would like to see the lunches back, it'd be wonderful to have a volunteer effort so that, so that we can make that happen in the fall. During this break, we invite you to still come together in the dining room after Sunday services. Althea will provide coffee and tea, and we encourage those uh, to bring baked goods if you would like to share. Uh, we will also pause the Sunday potluck on the last Sunday of every month. Thank you for your understanding and support. Let's work together to ensure that Sunday brunches or lunches can return better than ever in September. So we need us all to work together to make that happen. Today, after our dining room gathering, join Reverend Christina in the library for a con conscious conversation and a group discussion. Thanks so much. And as you notice, I've highlighted the, the bigger events and the things that are going on today. For our regular events um, that are ongoing, you can look at the newsletter that's emailed every week or um, the, the brochure that you're given when you, when you come into service. And now I would love to introduce Reverend Christina. Thank you. Thank you, Shauna. It's wonderful to have a baby on stage. Remember the, um, for all of us to remember the child within. Um, I'm Christina Jones and welcome to Althea. This is a non-denominational center steeped in oneness, recognizing the spirituality in all. And we honor and respect and love everyone from different races, diversity, religions, faiths, what have you. This center was built over 100 years ago, created by three beautiful sisters, steeped in divine science, new thought wisdom that began in the 1800s. However, the teachings and the knowledge goes way back, thousands of years. 
Now, there is very aware of the dichotomies and all the tragedies that are going on on this planet. And I also would like to say, with the news of yesterday, that we do not support violence of any kind. And I ask us all right now, let's just take a breath and, you know, let's put, take a moment of silence for healing of our country, of a togetherness, and a healing of the families that are worried about their loved ones and the gentleman who lost his life, and just shooting of anyone, even if we disagree with the political party, is not okay. So we're just going to take one moment and just take a deep breath and just imagine the word love, just as simple as that. And come back to a space throughout this week. Let's just chant the word love. It's love. Because we are made of love. That's our true essence, is love. No matter what we agree or disagree with. If you're new online, please um, type your name in Facebook page. You can follow us at altheacenter.org. And anyone that is new here, please raise your hand. We have a small little gift. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Serona. I'm Christine. One of our board members will greet you. Thank you for being here. And feel free to uh, ask any questions. And now, Shannon's going to welcome us in into a deeper prayer. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to do the forgiveness prayer by the Course in Miracles. Today I'm willing to see past fear to the truth. Today I'm willing to become as a little child and be taught by the one who knows. Today I step back and take my unhealed thoughts to eternal love that I might see them for the nothingness they are. I'm willing to let my projections be undone. I am willing to remember where I am always. Today, I am willing to be happy instead of right. Amen. Good morning, everyone. If it's possible for you, please stand up. And if you stand up, um, just let's take a moment to ground into the earth. Just kind of look at your feet, get yourself present on this beautiful Sunday here in our beautiful sanctuary, the Altia Center, and then just maybe reach the crown of your head towards the sky, find a nice graceful posture, and then tune into your heart. Maybe take a breath, releasing any residual tension from getting here. And then from our hearts, let's proclaim the statement of being. God is all, both invisible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. The one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. We are individualized expressions of God and are ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and, and perfect, perfect substance. You are the face of God.
Thank you. Shannon, thank you for that prayer. Thank you so much. I'd like to welcome back Verena Fuentes. And her, her bio doesn't cover enough of what she's doing and where she's from. And you're uh, releasing an album soon, correct? Yes. Okay, um, so. A few songs that are going to amount to an album, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Verena, you were born and raised in Mexico, correct? Yes. So tell them a little bit about yourself and then introduce the song she's going to do, which is very perfect for these times. <laughs> Welcome, Verena. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, the light. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I am a Mexican singer-songwriter from Mexico City. Um, I'm so honored to be here today. I've, I've been here a few times, and every time it feels so healing, and I'm really grateful for everyone who has already been here and everyone who is new um, and is willing to allow me to share my music with you all. Um, this song is called Don't Listen. Dancing by herself, she doesn't realize who she will become. If I could only tell her everything will be alright, she looks at herself in the mirror. She doesn't understand why no one. Should she get rid of to finally be a part of them? Don't listen, and you will see just who you're gonna be. I promise it gets better. How strong you're gonna be? Don't listen to you right now. Who you're supposed to be. Don't let them take away the pieces that make you, you. She wipes her tears with her little hands. She doesn't want anyone to see. She's not the happy girl she's known to be. She looks at herself in the mirror. She doesn't understand why no one will be friends with her. What parts of her should she get rid Just who you're gonna be, I promise it gets better. How strong you're gonna be, don't listen to you right now. Who you're supposed to be, don't let them take away the pieces that make you. Thank <laughs> you. 
morning, everybody. So the readings today, uh, we have two. Can you hear me okay? Yes? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, so in ancient Hawaii, if a person had broken a terrible taboo or was accused of a crime, there was always a way out. No matter what he had done, if he could get himself inside the lava rock walls of Pua Honua, the Oceanside Temple of Refuge, the priests would offer a ritual of purification and forgiveness. Then they were allowed to return home unharmed. In the Temple of Forgiveness, we are reminded of our own goodness. If only we could help each other build temples of forgiveness instead of prisons. We can in our own hearts. From Jack Cornfield in his book, The Art of Forgiveness, Loving Kindness, and Peace. And the second reading uh, tells us that forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. It is an act of tremendous self-love to forgive not only others, but especially yourself. We all have experiences in our lives that we're not proud of, that cause us shame and guilt when we remember and relive them. Now, now it is time to heal our past. Dr. Edwin Gaines, ordained unity minister, author, and prosperity coach. So yesterday, my title is on freedom, is the key to forgiveness. But many ministers, they take a couple of days to prepare for a talk. I was taking a nap. I hear my husband coming, coming through the hallway. It was a deep nap. I look up at him. He's like, Trump was shot. And I felt I was walking down the hallway. He wasn't gone. I'm sitting down watching TV. My phone's going off. And I do find humor in life. If we don't, you'll go nuts. I had to laugh and say, well, there goes my talk. I'm like, oh, boy. Now, the beginning of the year, some of you all know it, some of you all don't. I'm a seventh generation intuitive. As a little girl, I always hear voices. No, I'm not nuts, but some days I wonder. Um, and I remember in January, a voice said, buckle up, buttercup. The change on the planet is here, physically, emotionally, psychologically. All changes are happening. Buckle up, buttercup. Four days ago, Canada has 6.5 earthquakes. Volcanoes are erupting. And I started thinking about with this assassination attempt and just shots and all the violence that's going on, we're affecting the earth. Our energies are affecting the earth. And I was thinking how to tie this in because the whole month of July has been about freedom. And I always intuit, channel, whatever you want to say before a month, of, of what to speak about for a month. And the first week I got, freedom is our birthright. Then the focus is in freedom. I talk about last week and this. The funny thing is, I never got next week. It's not on freedom. And I was even asking spirit, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to just go with it. Now I know what it is. The violence that's going on on this planet. We need to forgive one another and ourselves when we start judging everybody. Because things are getting really out of control. I wasn't here when Kennedy was shot. But there's different reasons and theories. I was a little kid 
when Ronald Reagan had an assassination attempt. And many of us know there was mental illness at play and similar things. When I asked Verena, when I saw her this morning, what's your song title? I laughed when she said, the first songs don't listen. I went, what? Because I've been getting, since this happened last night, oh boy, here comes social media, conspiracy theorists, everyone's got a theory. I've had three friends, I do not answer my phone before coming here on Sunday so I could be grounded and focused for spirit and for all of us. And I mean, ping and ping. Oh, I know you're at work, but no, I'm not going there. Don't go there. Don't listen. Don't, we're going to hear so much. It's going to be overwhelming. And I'm going to invite all of us when some people are still talking hate. Let's not go there. Even though some of us may not agree on a, pol a politician's comments, antics, whatever you want to call it, on any side of the aisle, this violence has got to slow down. There's a lower thought form that wants civil war. Absolutely. But spirit is all there is. God, whatever you want to call it, spirit is unattached. Forgiveness is the only way, and it's an ongoing work. I've said for the past two weeks, I do not like political season. And yesterday for me confirmed it. That this energy has to stop or we won't make it. And they won't be anyone to blame. It won't be a meteorite. It won't be some big earthquake. It's our own energy. We are extremely powerful in our thoughts and in our words. Was I surprised by him being shot? Nope. I'm not surprised by anything anymore because of the energy of the frequency on the planet, but it's rising. And with that energy rising, there's lower thought forms that are trying to pull it, us, down. So don't listen. Don't listen to what we hear tonight or people speculating or people just being mean or coming from fear. Heck, we don't know if we're going to have an election in November. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. So we're going too far out into the future instead of living in the present moment. We're arguing with one another for politics. I mean, let's be real. So it's time for us to step into forgiving ourselves for judging one another and forgiving others and not fighting with our friends and family and our relatives. Because I'm seeing it. I have people tell me, you can't vote that way, you can't do this. This is why in the Constitution, it was illegal to even discuss who you're gonna vote for because you might be killed. Look at what's going on. Let's hold the highest and best and stop going into this person can't go into office or this person can't go into office. The country is split. My biggest concern is with all these earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, hurricanes, and you name it, we don't need a giant earthquake literally splitting us in two. The earth, native cultures have said this. Incan cultures have said this. The earth is a living breathing energy, a frequency, a body. And our energies and emotions affect and effect it. Do we really need to get a spiritual two by four? In the late 1800s, there was a thing called the Carrington event. The whole grid, electronic grid fried. There was an 8.9 earthquake in Missouri. 
it changed the course of the Mississippi River. And there was a lot of turmoil going on the planet in the 1800s. We better watch it. It's time for us to hold on to some love, some peace, some forgiveness, and don't get wrapped up in a lot of theatrics. Shakespeare talked about it. The world is a stage. We don't know what we're going to see. We don't know what we're going to hear. I mean, I even laughed that some people said Elvis Presley and Tupac Shakur are still alive. Don't know if it's true or not. There's going to be speculations about what just happened for years. I'm not saying don't discuss it, because we are human. I'm not saying I have a conversation, but don't get wrapped up into that. Let's get wrapped up into the higher Christ consciousness, that Christos energy, that we are all intuitive. We are all magical. Let's get wrapped up in the prayer and meditation, and not that fearful prayer, that holding, that spirits got this. That whatever happens with election season, vote. Vote the way you want to vote, but vote with heart and love. Let's not vote out of fear, anger, and rage. This is how come a lot of people are having mental health crises. The 20-year-olds, a lot of them are struggling because it's too much. Turn it off, take a break from your cell phone. Because everything just pings, pings, pings. It's like, oh my goodness, it's a lot. Forgiveness is a key to freedom. If you want to see the brave, look at those who can forgive. It takes a lot to forgive. I was thinking... Friday night and meditating of what to say and what to feel into this space. And I was thinking, in some ways, the native indigenous cultures in America, black people, and other cultures that say were Asian cultures, even the Irish, put into slavery and oppression found a way to forgive. Now, I'm not saying everyone forgave. Just hear me out. If they didn't, they could have been a civil war a long time ago. Let's be clear. I was reading about some of the native chiefs like Black Elk Speaks. Lakota talked about forgiveness, even though seeing his people wiped out. So if we don't have forgiveness, we go do it to each other. And it's going to go beyond race. So if other cultures, including Nelson Mandela and other people, can forgive horrific atrocities, we're fighting over two men. I mean, let's be clear. When you really look at it, it's not just parties. We're fighting over two men, two energies, and we don't know the truth of everything. I believe this year is the beginning. All truths are being revealed. New technologies are being revealed. New discoveries are being revealed. We may find a lot of stuff in the next five years about healings that were kept from us. And some of us, we might be really angry. Forgiveness is an ongoing job, and it's okay to say, hey, I have not. Wishing someone dead, if you've ever done that, it's time for you to forgive that. Wishing someone got hurt, it's time to forgive that. Because let me tell you, when you throw out, when we throw out an energy that someone should have died or been hurt, or main, or stop, because you got to work that word stop. You're flinging it on you. This center is based on various laws of the universe. Laws given by God. Laws 
that Yeshua ben Joseph himself practiced. And one is law of attraction. What you give out, you get back. When you point a finger at someone, there's three other fingers pointing to us. Because we're all one. The reason why I'm not surprised by what happened, because of the anger in this country. And I see anger on I-25 or on Colfax. That I even check myself when someone is flipping me off for no reason, because I was sitting at a red light. I can't flip them off back because you know what I'm thinking? I don't even know what's going on with them. I'm going to just get over and get out of the way. They might be in a crisis on drugs, not my business. But what is our business is my reaction, our reaction, our reaction, because we don't know what's going to happen. I think there's 15 weeks to the election. Let's not divide ourselves. It's almost like we're splitting ourselves. Because there's this holistic side to us, this God-given side to us. And then we get sucked into the news like a vacuum. And they start keep going and going and going. It takes us to be brave, to forgive ourselves, and to forgive others. And some people are racist. I'm not going to lie, you see my skin color. Some people don't like the LGBTQ or women or don't want women to have power. That's true. And we all have free will. But we start wishing, oh, they should be killed or dead. Well, guess what? That's coming right on us. We got to watch this. We got to watch this. This is an example. The macrocosm is an example of the microcosm. And the earth is feeling into this. Forgive others, not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve peace. Oh. Don't we deserve some peace right now? Yes, yeah, speak up. You can say it. This is not just my show of participation. We deserve some peace. I believe all of us in the world, in our country, have the power to affect and affect each other positively. I believe it. I've shifted my entire life on that belief, being a, a daughter of an alcoholic coming from abusive childhood, physically, mentally, emotionally, you name it. I know this stuff works. And other people have shifted consciousness and still do. If you follow people like Dr. Joe Dispenza, Marianne Williamson with The Course in Miracles, that prayer, that shifted consciousness the readings for me of Maya Angelou shifts consciousness. Dr. King was here to shift consciousness. And he taught on forgiveness and stood in it so much that they took him out. Do it anyway. We live in a safe universe. Don't go into fear. I know some very powerful metaphysical people, and they're even going there like, oh, civil war's coming. I'm like, delete, delete, nope. We're not going there. And we all have angels. Don't know, so just pardon me. I'm the minister of woo-woo. I've seen angels and spirit guides. I've had an angel. I know push me out of a way of a moving car. Literally, I felt something just fling me and saved my life. We're not alone in this, okay? We all have angels and spirit guides. Let us call for help. We need to meditate and pray a little bit more. If you find yourself hating 
I'm, I mean, hate. We're all seeing it, right? We're all seeing hate. Because someone doesn't agree with our political views, be it right or wrong, that hate is hurting us. It's hurting our bodies. It's hurting our body temple. It's even hurting our finances. Because you're blocking. You're blocking your good. You're blocking your God. In the Bible, it says, ye are gods. Ye are gods. We are gods and goddesses. And to step into that forgiveness, that maybe, what's the possibility that with a assassination attempt, and these people, some of these, his supporters that went to a rally, innocently enough, just to support someone. Again, I'm not trying to get political, but this is in the room. Be it you agree with them or not, no one deserved to die that day. You have people that are going to have PTSD. And our country is in some serious PTSD. It still is not healing. It's prejudices. Pay attention to Mother Earth. Pay attention because she's talking. And everyone keeps saying, well, we got to start with electric cars. And then and we're judging this person for having a truck. And we're judging this person for having a smart car. Stop the judgment. It stops forgiveness. Let's let people be and let's stay in our lane. Let's stay in our lane. Let's work on ourself. Some of us are carrying unforgiveness for parents who are gone, grandparents, great-grandparents, um, Old slave masters, yeah, I'm going there. We, I mean, we're holding on some old ancestral stuff, and I believe it's up. It's up. It's right in our face. When I hear people say, all our rights are going to be taken away, I don't believe that for a minute. Nope. Don't get sucked in. Stay grounded this summer and this fall of the possibility of good coming out of this muck like the lotus flower that sits in the swamp and just gives out this beauty. I think we're in this growth that we're growing through this old muck. Rome fell. I said last week, Rome fell. The Roman Empire fell. The people were still there. Politicians are just people. I've noticed we put them on a pedestal. Hi, Candy. I agree. When we look at other politicians and political leaders in other countries, how can they do this? I agree. How can they? It's despicable. It's disgusting. But we got to stop giving them all the power. Summon in your good. Summon in peace. Chant the word love. Chant the word peace. Do you realize when you chant certain words, especially forgiveness, the heart chakra gets activated? You could go to some places and get scanned to see how certain words ignite your brain into a higher consciousness. So if you spend some time with friends, family, talking about politics and what happened, it's okay, but don't spend hours. Literally put yourself on a timer. Because then we got to start looking at what we're spending time on. So say if you want to talk to people 10, 15 minutes, and this came on the news, and oh my God, the shooter was this, and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. But then put yourself on a timer. It's time for all of us to start more talking more positive than negative. So if you're spending more time in the negative areas of social media and the news and the hoopla, you're out of balance. So talk more positive. Watch 10, 15 minutes if you have to. And I want you to find something funny on Netflix. Dave Chappelle is a good one. And make yourself laugh. Do something fun. Put yourself in balance and homeostasis before we get sick, or worse yet, this plan will start reacting. 
Because I almost see like Mother Earth as Big Mama. I had a Big Mama. And we're like little three-year-olds on this beautiful blue marble called Earth. And every now and then when we get too froggy or someone thinks about bombing this or bombing that or we're going to do this, a group of men in a room, the earth does something or the power goes out or an earthquake happens. That's big mama saying, now, 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 sit down, calm down, go, do some, go play with your coloring book. You're going too far. We don't need that. We're on a precipice of something great, not something bad. We're not going to war. We're going into peace. We're going into love. And we're stepping into forgiveness. Forgiveness sets us free. It releases that bondage, that sickness, that, that illness. Why you can't sleep. You don't need Ambien. You need some meditation. You need to pray, burn some incense, light a candle, do something fun. Yeah, clap, because that's what we end up clap. You need to dance. You need to wake up to that and don't get stuck into an illusion because we really don't know what we're looking at. We're being fed information, and we don't know if it's all true. But what I know is all true, that we all breathe oxygen. For the most part, we all look alike. Just different skin color, eyes, height, weight. Look at the hummingbirds and the flowers and the rain and the thunder. Even when you feel the heat, that's God. That's the sun. Because fall will be here in an instant. The snow will be back. And no two snow crystals are the same. We're all one, but we're all different. But we all have a gift of love. We all have a gift of peace. We all have the potential for forgiveness and to stop sending out hate, anger, and rage. And as I say this to you, I also say it for myself. God knows I'm not perfect. I continue to do my work of forgiveness of my past, of my present to build a better future. Because that's what we're all here to do. I'll read this and then come out great. It's a forgiveness card that I pulled. And it reads, the energy of forgiveness strengthens our capacity to let go unwanted feelings. I'm gonna say it again, unwanted feelings and emotions. Breathe that in, forgiveness. Let's go of unwanted feelings, and I'm going to say negative emotions, lower emotions. That's the card I pulled on Friday, not knowing what I was going to hear on Saturday. Let's just start forgiving and just sending peace. Even those that may not like us for whatever reason, some people don't even know why they don't like you. They make it up. But that's theirs. We can't control them. Forgive them. They know not what they do. Remember that? That great energy said that over 2,000 years ago. I believe knowing what we're going through right now. We know not what we do. What they do and to be at peace. And it's okay to walk away from people that might have hatred. I'm not saying sit in it. I'm not saying bathe in it. I'm not saying try to heal or fix them. Please don't do that. They're on their path. But if someone's sending hate or dislike because of they're having a bad day, whatever they're going through, for whatever reason, driving down the road, let them go. You do this, get out of the way. Love and peace and get out of the way. Don't go into a fight. Because all of us in this room matter for the frequency on the planet. We get to choose 
The reason in Scripture said 144,000, that's all it takes to raise the frequency on the planet. Not a billion, not a half million, 144,000 willing, loving souls. It's time for us to be part of that, to raise that. Ready to play us something beautiful, dear heart? I'm going to do a little prayer. Feel free to close your eyes or not. It's just a prayer of forgiveness that leads to peace. For God is all there is, that light, that oneness, the supreme creator known by no name in all names. Unattachment. Forgiveness and love and bliss is what we are all created for. Therefore, we are all unified in that love, that peace, that bliss, that abundant joy of divine harmony. The same energy that created the Saturn, Moon, and Mars, and that divine Christ consciousness, and all the wisdom keepers created all of us, and we're unified with that. And I know, sense, and feel during this time in our country, on our planet, that we are beacons of light, of hope, of forgiveness and joy. We are that light, and we're stepping into our mission as children of the divine, of emissaries of light, of divine consciousness, of wholeness, an energetic perspective of the oneness of forgiveness and love and harmony and peace. I'm grateful for this center, for everyone that ever walked through these doors, for those online, for all of our family members, and for our very breath to be here at this time on planet Earth to raise the consciousness of the divine oneness. Oh, how good it is, how good it is to feel into this presence. And I know everyone takes this with them throughout this week, throughout this month, throughout this year, that we are powerful, that we are love, and we are forgiven for we forgive. And I release this into the law, into divine expression, and together we say, and so it is. Amen and Ashe. If anyone knows this song, you are more than welcome to sing along. Um. This is a song that I recently found, even though it's not new at all. And I think, you know, maybe it was written for a lover or a partner, but the way that I see it is just how grateful I am for all the people around me and everything that has led me to them. And sometimes to get through just such difficult times, all you need is your community, and this is such a beautiful community, so it's dedicated to you all. I set out on a narrow way many years ago Hoping I would find true love along the broken road But I got lost a time or two Wept my brow and pushing through I couldn't see how every sign Led me straight to you For every long lost dream Led me to where you are Others who broke my heart They were like no other star Pointing me on my way Into my loving arms This 
as much I know is true that God blessed the broken road that led me straight to you. I think about the years I spent just passing through. I'd like to have the time I lost and give it back to you. But you just smile and take my hand. You've been there, you understand. It's all a part of a grander plan that is coming true. For every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. That God blessed the broken road that led me straight to you. That God blessed the broken road that led me straight to you. Thank you, Vereen. Beautiful voice. Thank you so much. And now this is a time of offering. If you wish to offer online, go to altheacenter.org, and you may do reoccurring offerings as well. Uh, where did JC go? Oh, the QR code. Yeah, well, you can just go on LTScenter.org to give your donations. We also have a dip jar in the back that takes $10 dips using your debit card. And whenever you give, even sometimes when I'm paying my bills, I do a blessing of gratitude, of circulation, knowing that money always comes back. And invite you as you give to the basket or online to hold it in your heart, in your higher consciousness, in your mind. And together we say, the universe provides all that I need and all that I give. With great joy, I share my prosperity planting seeds for a world I'm helping manifest. And so it is. Amen. And thank you. Thank you all who give in your time, talent, and treasure. And the money goes to support this building, which is over 100 years old, and other um, outreach activities that Althea contributes in, including in the fall, our um, lunch program. We even have one of our chefs here, Chef Tom, Raise your hand, chef. Come on, stand up. Stand up. This man's an amazing cook. I mean, amazing. His food is so good. So he'll be back in the fall um, cooking for us for community. Uh, today we have do have some treats. I uh, think there's some strawberries. There was Kristen, some muffins. So if you want to hang around and meet with us. And, again, if you're new for the first time um, and you were shy and didn't want to raise your hand, feel free to come connect with us in lunchtime. And now, um, here at Althea, we do something called prayers of the people. If you have a prayer request, uh, make it short and simple and brief. If you have a prayer request online, please put it on Facebook. Uh, Rick Kitzman, Rick, Rick writes down everyone's prayer requests and sends out an email, and we all hold those prayers in our heart for a week. I read those prayer requests, and I immediately do an affirmative prayer, which is you affirm what you want, because it already exists in a universal field. We just help it bring to fruition. And, and if you want a deeper prayer, Rick Kitzman will meet with you in Darwin's Den for a one-on-one -on -one of an affirmative prayer that he will help hold for you something you may not know. Good morning, everybody. My name is Avis. I am asking you to pray for my younger sister who is very ill and just pray for that she has the strength and guidance to do what she needs to do. 
I also ask um, to, to tell you that a great man made his transition this last Wednesday. His name is Hosea. And pray for his family and also the family of the Denver Sheriff's Department that he worked for for over 30 years. Thank you, Evans. Hi, my name is Lita. I would like for you to pray for my uh, my very dear friend Ernest to have relief from the uh, tinnitus that's bothered him for so long. Thank you, Ernest. I'd like to ask prayers for a friend of mine named JJ. I had a rescuer from a hospital last uh, Monday in Colorado Springs, and because her phone was turned off by the, she didn't pay her bill, I couldn't reach her. So eventually I was able to contact the hospital and find her, but it took, I was lost in Colorado Springs for an hour trying to find the hospital. At any rate, I would like to pray for her recovery. Thank you, Ernie. Anyone else? Anyone up top? You can say it loud enough, I'll repeat it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, thank you all. And Verena will lead us in our closing communion song. If you are willing, you may stand and sing along. It will be a short song. Thank you, Verena. Yeah, of course. Um, so for anyone that doesn't know the, the chorus of this song, I, I'm going to have you practice it with me just one time um don't rise up rise like the oh can we sorry can we go to the next yeah just the chorus and don't rise up rise like the day you'll rise up i'll rise unafraid i'll rise up and i'll do it a thousand times again so now you know how it goes so you're prepared okay You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round And you can find the fighter But I see it in you so we gon' walk it out and move mountains And we gon' walk it out and move mountains everyone and i'll rise up rise like the day i'll rise up rise on afraid i'll rise up and i do it a thousand times again and i'll rise up high like the waves i'll rise up in spite of the ache I'll rise up and I do it a thousand times again for you for you for you for you Thank you. Is it on? So, so, so. <laughs> let us bow our heads and let's do a pray out. I'm not Bob, so it'll be a little different. That's all right. <laughs> do, do your thing. <laughs> so if you care to join hands with someone around you. And, sir. <laughs> and let us just revel in this moment. Let us revel in being alive. Let us know that when we leave this place, we represent spirit. And what is that representation? Each of us is at choice. Let us forgive who, when, where, what we need to forgive. Let us shine our light on the world because it needs us. It needs our love. 
And so let us in our own way give thanks for this moment and let it go and know whatever questions we have, the answers are already ours within our hearts and within our minds. And together we say, and, and so, so it is. is.